begin with the monitor turned on. You can perform a reset from any screen on the monitor. Typically, you would only perform a reset if your monitor is displaying some type of error on the screen. Flip the monitor over and remove the battery cover. Look for the small hole between the two batteries towards the bottom of the battery compartment. Take a bent paper clip and insert one end into the reset button. Depress lightly and release. You should hear a short beep. Caution! Do not confuse the reset button with the vent hole. The vent hole is located next to the bed font logo on the back of the monitor. You will notice that the monitor's screen will not change in appearance. At this point, you must reboot the monitor to finish resetting it. Hold down the button for 3 seconds and release to turn the monitor off. Then, hold it down again for 3 seconds and release to restart the monitor. As the monitor boots up, notice that the colored lights will cycle through. This indicates that the monitor has been reset. Once the monitor has gone through its rebooting process, you will see the D-piece reminder on the screen. Clear the D-piece reminder by double-clicking. You will now see the calibration prompt. You must perform a calibration at this point as part of the process of resetting the monitor. Double-click to select the check mark. Double-click the zero symbol to zero the monitor. Allow the zeroing process to cycle through with the hourglass. When you see the check mark, double click to return to the previous screen. Insert the D piece that is connected to the calibration kit. Be sure to watch the calibration video for a detailed overview of the full calibration process. Double click to select the gas icon and begin calibration. Immediately turn on the flow of gas. You may need to adjust the flow rate depending on the type of regulator that you have. When you see the check mark, turn off the regulator to stop the flow of gas. Double click to return to the previous screen. Single click to arrow down to the return arrow, then double click to return to the home screen. Your monitor is now ready to use. After you disconnect the calibration kit, you can either turn your monitor off or use it to perform a test.